Once an actor, always an actor, and he can't stop lying. You will pay restitution to the city of Chicago in the amount of $120,106. You are fined $25,000, which is the maximum fine. And you will spend the first 150 days of your sentence in the Cook County Jail. And that will start today, right here, right now. No, I would just like to say to your honor that I am, uh, I am not suicidal. That's what I would like to say. Okay. I am not suicidal. Okay. I am not suicidal. I am innocent, and I am not suicidal. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you and I respect the jury, but I did not do this. And I am not suicidal. And if anything happens to me when I go in there, I did not do it to myself. And you must all know that. I respect you, Your Honor. I respect your decision. Jail time. I am not suicidal. Mr. Uchi, court is adjourned. I am not suicidal. I am not suicidal. And I am innocent. I could have said that I was guilty a long time ago. Poor Jussie. Poor guy got 150 days to serve in prison. Has to pay Chicago over 100 grand. Himself $25,000 fine. Because he's guilty. Jerry found him guilty of making up the hate crime. He got beat up by those two guys. And what was he thinking? Why was he doing it? He had a successful role in a TV show. No one gives a shit if he's gay. But he did it. He got caught. He got convicted. And now he's putting on his act in the courthouse. If something happens to me while I'm in jail... I didn't do it. I'm not suicidal. Apparently, he was using that as a ploy to maybe, you know, convince the judge that he doesn't need jail time, that he won't be safe in prison because he's a celebrity. But no one gives a shit. He's a has-been. He'll probably get roles when he gets out because... You know, BLM, LBGTQ, they'll all come surrounding him and have a big celebration when he gets out because they're supporting the liar, the phony, the fake. All the celebrities that came forward supporting him when he told his bullshit story. Where are they now? They weren't in the courtroom. Are they going to hug him and kiss him when he gets out of jail? We're sorry, buddy. You know, I mean, we supported you, but you're a piece of shit and you told a lie and you got caught. Why did you do it? Does anybody even know why? He still insists that he didn't do it. He cannot come to terms that he's a piece of shit. And he made up this whole story, paid these guys, and apparently, from what I've read, he was also doing drugs and having sex with those guys. And again, no one gives a shit. So what did they need a little money and you didn't really want to give it to them? So you said, hey, how about this? I'm looking for a little more attention because I'm trying to get some more roles in Hollywood. How about you pretend you attack me, you beat me up, you tie me up, you put a noose around my neck, all that bullshit. And then I'll give you some money and then everybody will feel bad for me. And then Hollywood will come calling. Oh my God, we got to help this poor guy out. Well, guess what, asshole? You made a fool of yourself, you made a fool of your family, and you made a fool of all the big wigs who came sucking up when you made up your story. From politicians to the Hollywood elite, they all believed you, they all praised you, praised your work ethic, and oh, how bad they felt when you got attacked because you were black and you were gay. Are you freaking kidding me? This is the kind of shit that, that, that we're dealing with because these pe these so-called so celebrities got nothing else going on. They don't have enough money already. They don't have enough recognition already. They got to make up stories that they got attacked because of the color of their skin or whatever their sexual orientation is. It's such bullshit. 
it's almost like it's almost like the the politics right now that uh, Uncle Joe is blaming inflation and high gas prices on the Russian invasion of Ukraine. He's not taking any responsibility for it. No, he's blaming Russia because the gas prices haven't been going up since the minute he rose his hand and got sworn in. That's what Jesse Smollett did. He needed some attention, so he came up with a plan with these two buddies of his to do this bullshit. Had police looking, searching, working overtime. Granted, they were making money, as they should, because they're police, and they were doing something that was all bullshit when they could have been helping people who were in real trouble. They could have been responding to real calls to help. But no, this nitwit had to make up this whole scenario. It was almost like he was writing a script for a movie he wanted to bring to Hollywood producers when it was all said and done. And he figured he was going to make some money on it. I'm going to write this script. This is what happened. I'm the victim. Oh, woe is me. And it's going to be a big box office success. Well, it's not. He's not. He's currently in prison right now, and I'm pretty sure that he's on protective custody because, oh, he's a celebrity, and oh, he cried and moaned and acted out in court that he's not suicidal. Come on, man. No one cares about you. It was almost like he was doing this shit because whoever killed Jeffrey Epstein, oh, I'm sorry, I mean Jeffrey Epstein committed suicide in prison. Whoever was responsible for not watching Epstein, they're not going to watch him. And someone's going to sneak in and give him a beating. No one cares about you, Jussie. No one cared before, and they don't care now. You're a convicted felon for making up a heinous crime against your own people. And you stood up and said, if you did this, you were thrown it in the face of African Americans. That's exactly what you did. You knew what you were doing. You knew that you were lying. You knew it was all bullshit, but you did it anyways. Were you high on coke? Who knows? Who cares? But the stories are that you were doing it with your two buddies and a few other things too. But no one cares. Nobody cares if you're using drugs. No one cares if you're some big celebrity or you were some big celebrity. All you did was embarrass the entire the entire African-American community because there are people really suffering. There are people really being, should I say, really having crimes committed against them. Real crimes, okay, who are African-American. But you chose to act a fool and pretend that you were a victim when in fact there are a lot of real victims out there and you did no you did no justice to them you did nothing to help them you did nothing but yes you threw it in their face because you are a scumbag bottom line that's all i can say i've never seen anything you were in i never will watch anything that you were in because i really don't care what i do care about is the response that the public safety officials in Chicago made to your bullshit story. That's what I care about. They could have been injured in their response. They could have been injured searching for the so-called suspects of your abduction. But you didn't care about that. No, you cared about you. And like I said, you were probably writing a script. You cared about the movie you wanted to make about your bullshit story. But where's BLM now? Were they in court to support you? They were supporting you when you got abducted, but now they're silent as usual because there's nothing to talk about. They know you're full of shit. Your own family knows you're full of shit. And again, none of your celebrity buddies were in that courtroom to support you because you're a liar. You made up a story and you still won't admit that you did it. And that's it. Enjoy your time in prison. I hope, I don't hope that anything happens to you. I really don't. Do your time, get out, pay your fine, and so I'm sure some Hollywood producer will come calling and give you some kind of role 
to give you some money because quite frankly that's how Hollywood rolls they like bullshit they thrive on bullshit and I'm pretty sure that when you're done doing your time you'll be just fine so just man up admit what you did wrong and move on because again I'll say it for the tenth time no one gives a shit about you and your fake story about your fake abduction and the story end of rant thank you for watching i appreciate you tuning in if you haven't already liked this video please consider liking it consider subscribing to my channel and if you do hit the notification bell share my videos with someone if you will i hope everybody's healthy and safe and i'll see you again real soon with something else to talk about have a great night.